testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, good to be back. We're going to have um, a real good show today after what we got last night. Uh, we got the Serrano fight tonight in New York City. But last night we got a fight of the year uh, when we weren't expecting. I, I almost forgot it was on. I kept thinking it was tomorrow. I was getting my days mixed up. But um, Navarrete comes back. Emmanuel Navarrete comes back uh, off the canvas. It's great. Ninth round TKO over Liam Wilson in, in, in a fight. No one was expecting much from. Um, really, no one knew who Liam Wilson was prior to this. Uh, Liam Wilson, well, sorry about that. Liam Wilson, uh, what would you say his best win was? You know, <laughs> you go through, oh, before we get to that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog, all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, follow, um, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. It's very near and dear to our heart. So, again, get get back to yesterday's masterpiece because that was some fight. So, the other card was good, too. The Barbosa fight was really entertaining. It was a really good card last night. Um, you got Torres, um, who did, you know, what you would hope for a prospect would do. Um, but you go through uh, Liam Wilson's resume. Matias Carlos Adrian Rosado, Ruano, Joe Noine, I mean, th 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 these are the names of note on his resume. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, it's not real good, right? So we didn't know what to expect. You know, we, again, it, it's a shame that WBA does the WBO. I'm sorry, WBO does this and, and makes this guy the number. You know, fight for a mandatory. I'm sorry, fight. For a vacant, I'm 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 struggling today. Fight for a vacant belt when he's got no business being in the ring. Uh, but he actually showed that he did. You know, he didn't have the resume to back it up, but you know, he had some skill. Uh, he had he was able to punch in between um, Navarrete. He was able to counter Navarrete. He was able to catch him. Um, he did a lot of good things. Um, again, I I don't think Liam Wilson's ever going to be a world champion. I, I think he's flawed. I think he's slow. I think he's hittable. Uh, I think he's way too hittable. I don't think – you know, his power is obviously good. It's uh, it's not sensational. Uh, but you can load up um, on a guy like that. Uh, and he did. You, can, you know, Navarrete is so right there to be hit. Uh, we're going to get into Navarrete in a second. But, you know, I, I, I do think we'll see Liam Wilson again in, in meaningful fights. Um, you know, I think he'll win some and he'll lose some. I, I don't think he'll ever beat a world champion unless, you know, he gets another vacant shot like this. Um, against, you know, a much lower quality opponent. It, it, it was a close fight. You know, the, um, the judges all had it for Navarrete. Um, uh, okay, you know, yeah, okay. It is what it is. It, it could go either way. How did you guys have it? Did you guys have it for Wilson or for Navarrete? It's time to stop. It doesn't matter. Uh, you can see Navarrete was breaking him down, wearing him down. Um, I'm going to get Navarrete now. Uh, he's a three-division world champ now. 22, you know, he was the darling that burst onto the scene, uh, beat Isaac Dog Bay. Um, just, I mean, clear. You know, no, no one was expecting him to beat Isaac Dog Bay. Uh, top rank wasn't expecting him to beat Isaac Dog Bay. And this is uh, all the way back in 2018. Um, they beat him up pretty good. Uh, they fought again, and he, he stopped him in the rematch. Um, and it's been off to races ever since. You know, he, he beat a guy named Devaka in, in a two-up fight. Um, he made a couple more defenses at 22, went up to 26. Um, beat uh, Ruben. V oh, that was a vacant belt, too. Yeah, he, he's good at picking up vacant belts. Uh, he stopped Ruben Villa. Uh, beat Christopher Diaz in a good fight. 
Yeah, that was noteworthy. Um, beat Joette Gonzalez in a real fun fight, but you can see 22 was a better division for him than 26. And then he destroyed Edward, uh, Eduardo Baez um, in his last fight at 26. Uh, he goes up to 130, and you know he's got a world title at 130, so you can never take that away from him. But he's not going to have that belt for long. He's not going to be able to unify that belt. He's not. He, his days are numbered. I think at 28 already, he's past his peak just from the amount of wars and slugfests he's been in. Right, like he's just it's taking a toll on him already. I think he's already slowed down. He's already not as good as he was three years ago. Um, so, so factor that in. Um. On top of that, he's now in his third weight class. I, you know, you, you can see at the weight, he's not real lean. He's a little pudgy. He's a little soft, right? He, I think he's past his peak. You know, well, let's assume he is literally only 28 years old, like he's listed as. I think he's past. It. You know, I think he's older than the years indicate. Um, I really do. Um, you know, he, he's on the right side to get a big money fight. And he can hang around and get more, you know, pretty big money fights because he's entertaining. He's a draw. But you got Shakur Stevenson. You got Oscar Valdez on that side of the street. You know, honestly, I'd fight Shakur first and lose <laughs> and fight Oscar. Hear me out. Because if you fight Oscar Valdez first and you lose, then you're not getting Shakur Stevenson. However, if you beat Valdez, um, and then the score Stevenson gets a little fight gets a little more lucrative. All right, fine, fair enough. But I, I don't see him beating Valdez. He just looks shot. And I'm not a Valdez fan. You guys know I'm not a big fan of Valdez. He just looks shot to me. He just absolutely looks shot to me. Um, you know, the rest of that division, Joe Cordina. Um, you got probably Hector Garcia coming back down to that weight class. Um, who may be the second best fighter. Oh, Oshaki Foster. At the top of that division, you got Shakur Stevenson and Oshaki Foster. Um then it gets like a mismatch. There's guys who are good, but not that good. And I would put both Valdez and that right in that equation. Um, you guys think Joe Cordina beats those guys? Maybe, right? You know, Navarrete can be had. I think you got to have a little bit of pop like Liam Wilson does. You got you to be able to keep him off of you in spots. Um, you can't run from him. Because he is good at cutting it off and he's good at pressuring you. So I don't think you can run from Navarrete. But a guy like Oshaki Forster wouldn't run from him. He, he would stay in the pocket, beat him to the bunch, beat him up, break him down. I, I think Oshaki Forster would stop him. I think Shakur Stevenson just may beat him to a pulp and stop him too, the same way he did to Jamel Herring, right? But obviously Navarrete's a much different fighter. Um, Hector Garcia, you got in the division who I think is really good. Um, So you got some interesting names in that division. You know, they also got Henry LeBron. Who I know some people like the Puerto Rican fighter, Robinson Um, you know, There's good fights for him at 130. Um, but, you know, they're going to go to Valdez next. They're not going to give him a bunch of tune-up fights. And, again, they shouldn't. They shouldn't give him a victory lap. It's his third division. No need to take a victory lap. You've been here before. Go into the fight um, with Valdez. And, you know, it's sink or swim. Either he wins or he loses. You know, um, again, I would go in with a Shakur Stevenson fight because you're not – you know, I, I don't think you can beat either one of these guys. So just, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> beat, <laughs> beat one of them. You know, get, get the bigger money fight off the bat, which I would think is Shakur Stevenson. Um, where would they do the Valdez fight? Would they do it back in um, in Arizona? Would they do it in Texas? Where would you have it? California? Where, where do you want to have that fight? Vegas? Um, it's a good fight. It's an entertaining fight. I just think Valdez wins, and if Valdez wins that fight, Navarrete it, it, it can't get a big money fight after that. The Valdez Navarrete fight is always going to have intrigue. It's an all Mexican slugfest, right? And the names are entertaining. It's going to be a fun fight no matter when you have it. So you know, I, I would take the Shakur Stevenson when he first loses to Shakur Stevenson, and then challenge Valdez. You know, um, I I think that's your best bet. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, fight of the year last night, you never get off the ground, punishes him. He does Navarrete things. He's, he's able to get off the canvas and pressure him and, and, and finish a job. I, I'm sorry about that distraction. I, I got, he's able to finish the job. He does Navarrete style. He pressures him. He fights him. Um, 
Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, 3D Boxing comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Uh, to keep you up to date on the latest. Valdez doesn't have a belt anymore, does he? Shakur Stevenson took his belt. So, uh, yeah, that wouldn't be for a title. I, I don't think he should fight Valdez next. I think he should fight Shakur Stevenson next. I don't, I don't know why I thought Valdez had a belt. He obviously doesn't. He hasn't fought since the Shakur Stevenson fight. Um, so uh, that fight, yeah, if I'm him, I wouldn't fight Isaac Valdez. I'd hold out for Shakur Stevenson. Why Why would you fight Valdez in a fight you might lose? You, you probably could lose where well, you could get a bigger money fight with Shakur Stevenson and you're unifying. Uh, I, I would I, – I was... I don't know why I was thinking about this had a belt. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. Quick hits come to you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, it, it, please subscribe to the other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. It is February 4th, 2023. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.